Recording. How's it going, everybody? Moose here. I'm in Jonesville, Michigan. Roll this up a little bit. My dirty windshield show. Uh, had to come over, and uh, if you saw the other little video, I don't even know if I post it. I had to go pick up a computer checker from a friend for his truck that I'm trying to work on. And I think I'm going to need a schematic first because uh, I think it's a power or a ground issue that's not allowing the ECU to turn on or be recognized. So I'm going to probably go back and order the all data $20 wiring schematic for a 2012 Nissan Frontier and see if I can't check for power and grounds on the computer side, see if it's transferring power to the switch that allows it to pull the relay for the ECU to switch on for the vehicle to recognize it. But it's so hot right now, I mean not like south hot, but Michigan hot, and the driveway of my house it's got to be the hottest driveway in all of America, it seems. It's almost impossible to work out there in the sun, so I'm probably going to wait till around 5 or 6 o'clock when the sun's passed. And then see if I can't come up with something, but we'll see. I'm thinking, for the time being, I rode around a little bit, but I got... I really don't have any specific destination in mind, so... I think what I'm going to do is head home, which I am heading in a proper direction for that, I guess. Maybe pull the bike in the garage, because why it's hot outside, it's cool in there, and I think I might try to see if I can't use, pardon me, use the JB Weld seat repair stuff I bought from my car that I never opened, and maybe repair the rips on this seat. I don't know if it'll stay or not, but it's worth a shot go from there. I really don't have a destination, so I don't really want to go riding anywhere else. I just kind of want to go home. I do have to plan some trips here soon, so I do have somewhere to go, but not today. It is Saturday, I think the 27th of July, if memory serves. 2024. Present mileage on a bike, 45,660 miles. I also got a call for the uh, fuel pumps. I got to get a dealership somewhere for that. I haven't done it. I've received like three notices. So I guess I better look into that too. Parts are available now, so it probably won't be too bad. I just got to find one. I guess I should have rode over to Concord and done that. But I suspect... I do time they close. I could go do that. That might be an option. Pull over and see what time the power sports place closes over there. Maybe I can get a appointment made or something. I didn't think about that till now. I was heading in the right direction. I should have kept on going. It's just right over there. That'd be a destination. Let's do that. All right, we have a destination in mind. Yay for us! Woohoo! Here we go, Concord. Be a good place to go. They're not open, they're not open, but at least I can see what they sell there. I would think on a Saturday they'd be open till at least five. Of course, no one Honda, they might not even be open on a Saturday. Alright, well, I'm gonna go in that direction. And if they're open, I'll uh, get back on here and give you the down low of what we're doing. If they're not open, then I won't give you the down low of that, but I'll get back on and still tell you what happened. But for right now, I'm going to head in that direction and see what I can find out. So, I will talk to you in the next video, or if this one continues, in the rest of this video. As you can tell, I'm confused. I have no other camera angles with me, just the SEMA. If you don't like it, don't watch it. That's all I can really say. I just don't care anymore. Alright, I'll talk to you in a bit. Recording. All right. It's the first time I've seen one of these Yamahas in the wild. Not a bad looking bike. This is the uh, Star Eluder. Hmm, I think it looks fun. I like the front end. Cool. 
kind of Harley Indian represent, representation, kind of both together. I heard they're kind of not ballsy, though. I don't know if that's true. I'm really fond of that brick pedal. The rest of it looks pretty cool, though. I'd ride one of those. Nice layout. It's like a comfortable seat. Big saddlebags. Nice exhaust. Big tire. Well, anyways, I'm here at Planet Power Sports in cold water. And I've just made a inquire to my fuel pump recall. So I can't get into Honda right now. They have a system down, but they took my name and stuff, VIN number, and they are going to contact me probably Tuesday or Wednesday and let me know what they found. So, that cool. Might as well start the process and get this damn fuel pump changed, which I know is not bad because it's got almost 46,000 miles on it now. Sorry for all the bang, bang, slapping. How about that thing, huh? Polaris with a 10 on top? Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That thing's badass. Zone connected. I'd definitely ride one of those things if I had some trails. That thing looks fun. Probably cost more than the house did in the 1950s. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, I don't want to go back the way I came, so let's go back a different way. Oh, end up nice being a nice Saturday, though. So that's nice. Nice weather, a little warm, but not too warm. I can wear all this sh crap. Still not too fond of these pants, but maybe they'll break in. I think they're better without shorts on. I'm just wearing underwear right now. Busy road. So I'll find out about the fuel pump later. That'll be nice, and uh, maybe I can get that taken care of in the next month or so. Cool, because they're open on Saturday. There's a good chance I could just buzz over here on a Saturday and get that done. That'd be nice if I could just do that and then maybe walk over to Meyer here and just tool around the store for an hour or two while they're doing the work. I would be okay with that. Cold Wata, Michigan. I was just over here the other day for uh, brother-in-law's birthday. Well, I get over here and you're slow. Yeah, I went to Ponderosa up here. I like Ponderosa. Mm, dummy. Not as good as they used to be, but still quite tasty. They've really limited on their... Oh, they got a Walmart, too, so I bet you. They limited on their... Uh, can't think of the words. Their buffet's gotten a lot smaller over the years. Of course, ever since COVID, most buffets took a pretty good, pretty good hit, really. Um, but that's all right. That is what it is. Times have changed. Walmart and Meyer for... Oh, those of you who don't know, Maya is like a Kmart or a Walmart, but it's more of a Michigan, Indiana, Ohio thing. So, you may not be too familiar with those if you're not from around this area. But back before COVID, they were 24-hour stores like Walmart. I don't know if any Walmarts near you are still, but the ones around me are all closing at a certain time. COVID did that, I guess. Sure did. The commercial for Meyer was, uh, well, we got the keys, but we'll never need them because we're open 24 hours a day. Back in the 90s. I'll see if I can find that on YouTube. <laughs> I can't. I'll put that right here. But then again, I guess that kind of falls with the Sears. Sears Robot Company and Craftsman tools made in America guaranteed for life. Bullshit. Now they're made in Taiwan. Things are changing and they don't seem to be changing for the better. On some things and other things they do. There's the Ponderosa. The Ponderosa. Nom 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 nom. Food. Anyways, alright. I am going to uh, call this a video, and I will talk to you all in the next one, so, 
And anybody else find it stupid that Flagstar decided to change from the red and white they had for eons to a new sign that you don't recognize anymore from a distance? I find that awfully, awfully stupid. Not intelligent at all. Stupid, 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 stupid. Alright. See ya.